Hi there, I am Sumit Bansal and in this video, I am going to show you how to format phone numbers in Excel. Now, sometimes you may get the data, which is pretty easy, like this one on the screen, where you have the phone numbers and you just need to apply a custom number formatting to make it look like a phone number. But sometimes your data may not be as clean. It might be messy data, something like this, where you have the text and some text, some dots, some hyphens, and you first need to clean the data, extract the number, and then need to format it like a phone number. And in some cases, you may even have extension numbers that you need to extract and then put along with the phone number. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly format these data sets into proper phone number format. Let's see how it's done. So let's start with a simple example. Here I have these numbers, these phone numbers, and I want to format them to show them in a specific format, which is uh, first three digits are in brackets, then there are three digits followed by hyphen, and then the last four digits. This is usually the format that is followed in the US, and we are going to use custom number formatting to do this. So here, let me copy this data here. Now I'm just doing it so that you can see that these are the numbers and then they're formatted, but if you want, you can apply the custom number formatting on this existing data as well. Now here, I'm going to select this data, then hold the control key and press the one key. So this opens the format cells dialog box. And here within the number tab, I'm going to click on custom. And then I'm going to specify the custom number formatting that I want to apply. Now in this case, because I want the first three digits in brackets, I would first have the bracket, then I would put three hash symbols in the bracket. Now a hash symbol means that whenever it finds a number, it is going to put that number in place of the hash. So in this case, it is going to put three numbers in the bracket, then I would have a space character, then the next three digits. So you can see in the preview, it shows me that as I'm specifying, these digits are getting formatted, and then I would have a hyphen, and then the last four digits. So this is my format that I'm going to use. And now when I click OK, you can see my data has been formatted and it is now being shown in the right way. Now, a couple of things you need to know about this is it will only work if your data is a number. So this has to be numerical data. The second thing is that these are 10 digits. So it is only going to show you the result as 10 digits in case you have like, say, let's say, uh, a country code here. So 001, then that will not be shown. It is only going to show you the last 10 digits, but to be honest is a good thing. So this is how you can do it with the data that is consistent. But in case you have something like this, where you have this data that has the state code, which is 555 and then the rest of the number. But in some cases you just have the number. So you do not have a state code and you want to format it. In this case, you can also do that. So let me show you how, let me copy this data, paste it here. And we are going to now apply conditional custom number formatting. So I open the format cells dialog box, the keyboard shortcut, shortcut is control one. Then I'm going to go to the number tab and then click on custom. And here I'm going to specify the formatting. Now within the formatting, I can create a condition where if the number is more than seven digits, then a specific formatting is applied. And if the number is less than seven digits, sorry, seven or less than seven digit, then a specific formatting is applied. So in this case, I would use greater than and seven times I would put nine here. So this is going to now become a condition for those numbers that are more than seven digits. And then I can have the condition which is in brackets, I would have hash three times, then space, then hash three times again, then hyphen and hash four times. So this is going to show my number. You can see in the sample, it shows you the preview of the number that is in the active cell. And now this is one condition, but for the second condition, I would put a semicolon and then for the rest of the numbers. So numbers that are less than seven digits or seven digits. So in this case, I would put it as hash, 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 then a space character, the hyphen, and then hash four times. And now when I click OK, you can see if there is a state code, it is given in the brackets. And if there is just seven digit numbers, these are given in this format. So if you have a varying length of seven and 10 digits for US, then you can use this method. Another thing I want to show you is in this case, I focused on US, but if you want, you can do it for any country code. The only thing is that it needs to be consistent because the format is going to be just one single format for the entire country. So, For example, in this case, let's say I want this to be phone numbers in India. So let's say these are, uh, and India has mobile numbers with the, which are 10 digit, and I want to have five digits, then dash, then five digits. So in this case, I would change the custom number format. And what I would do is remove this, have hash sign five times, then dash, and then hash 
five times. And now when I click OK, you can see I get this data in this format. If I want to add the country code here, I can do that as well. So again, going back to custom number formatting, I would come here to the beginning and for India, it is plus nine one. So I can add it here, click OK. So it automatically adds plus nine one to all these numbers and then shows me the format. Another important thing to note here is any change that I do in custom number formatting is only done in the formatting. It is not done on the actual value in the cell. So in this case, if I click on the cell, you can see in the formula bar, it is still the same number that I have here, but it adds plus nine one, which is just shown to you. It's not there in the cell. If you want to make it more US specific, then let's say go back here and then we can change the format here. So I can make it within bracket hash, 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 then hash, 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 dash, hash four times and then I can add plus one and you can see it formats it for US again similarly you can do it for UA for UK for any other country where you have a consistent uh, number format now what if you do not have these as numbers what if these are formatted as text let me show you how to do that in that case so here again, I have the phone number data, but you can see there are some values that are aligned to the left, indicating that this is actually a text value. And this can happen. You may get these kind of mixed phone numbers formats when you get it from someone who's manually entering it. Sometimes people add a apostrophe and then type the number. Then you get a number in the text format, or sometimes you're downloading it from a database and you get it in this format. Now, in this case, I cannot use custom number formatting because that only works for numbers. So in this case, I'm going to use a formula and that is going to be used using the text function. Now with the text function, you can take this entire range and then specify the format that will be used for this data. So in this case, I can specify the format in double quotes and my format is going to be just like what we saw in the previous example. So in this case, I would have brackets within bracket. I would have three pound symbol hash symbol. Then I would have these three times again and then four times and a hyphen in between. And now when I hit enter, you can see it has nicely formatted my data. I get it here and it could be inconsistent. There, there is text, there is number, but my formula works for all the situation. If you want to change this here, if you want to add a country code, let's say plus one, you can do that here. And in this case, you'll see it gives you the result. Now, unlike the custom number formatting method that we saw earlier, in this case, it actually changes the value in the cell. So if I copy this data and I paste it somewhere as values, you'll see that the value actually is the exact value you see in the cell because now these are text values. These are not numbers. So just know this that when you're using custom number formatting, it doesn't change the underlying value in the cell. But when you're using the text function, it is going to change the underlying value that you see in the cell. So here I have these phone numbers and you can see this is slightly messier. I have these space characters that are in between numbers. Uh, these are text values that are aligned to the left. These are numbers that are aligned to the right. Then I have the country code like plus one or zero zero one. And I need to extract the phone number and format it. So it's a, an easier example because all I need to do is just extract the last 10 digits and then format it as a phone number. So let me show you how to do this. So here I'm going to first use the substitute function to get rid of these extra spaces. So I would select this data, so this entire data. Then I want to remove a space character. So I would have space character in double quotes and then I would replace it with a blank string. So just two double quotes without any space. And now when I hit enter, it removes all these space characters. So now it is a lot easier for me to extract the last 10 digits because I know that the last 10 characters that I extract will only be the digits. So in this case, I can use the right function and then extract the last 10 digits. It gives me this. And now it's so easy to format it because it's just like uh, what we saw earlier where we can use the text function. So I will use the text function. This is the part that is going to give me the result, which is the phone numbers, which is the last 10 digits of each cell on the left. And I can specify the format here. So in this case, the format is going to be three hash symbols in bracket, then space, then three again, and then four. And now when I hit enter, you can see it gives me the result nicely. Now, if you want to add the country code or make any changes in the formatting, you can do that in the text function. Now, this was still an easier example of messy data because all I had to do was get rid of space characters and then extract the last 10 digits. But sometimes you may get data which is not as easy as this one. So let me show you an example of messy data where you need to use a little bit of more advanced formulas to first extract the digits and then format it. 
Now here I have this data and you can see this data is not consistent. First of all, there are these extra characters. So I have these emojis, I have the parentheses, I have uh, hyphen, dot, in some cases there is text such as mobile number or phone number. And I want to extract the digits from this and then format these digits in the specified phone number format. Now to do this, I can use the text functions in Excel, but that is going to be very complicated. So what I'm going to use is a new function in Excel called regex replace. Now this is a new function that is available in Microsoft 365. And with this function, it's actually very easy to extract the numbers and get it in a cell. So let me show you here. I'm going to use this function called regex replace, where these are the cells that have the text from which I want to extract the digits and then I need to specify a pattern. Now the pattern in this case is very simple. I would put within double quotes, backward slash capital D. Now backward slash capital D indicates anything which is a non-digit character. So I'm going to get into this cell, identify anything that is a non-digit character and replace it with a blank. So in this case, my third argument is going to be a blank string. Now see what happens as soon as I hit enter, it only gives me the digits, the numbers. So it goes into this cell and goes into each cell. It checks every character. And if that character is a digit, it is uh, not replaced. But if it is not a digit, it is replaced by blank. So this gives me this result here. Now, uh, these are again not uh, of the same length. So I need to extract the last 10 digits. So I would use the right function and then extract the last 10 digits. So now I have the format, the number in the format that I want. And now I can easily put it in any format using the text function. So here within the text function, I would have the format. The format is going to be three pound symbol in bracket, then space, then three pound symbol again, and then four pound symbol. And you can see I have the result in the right format. Now, because of regex replace, this has become so easy, which would otherwise be very difficult because this data is so inconsistent. And it is so difficult to extract just the digits from these cells, because if we are using other formulas, then we have to specify all the things that needs to be replaced. But with regex replace, you can just specify a pattern, which just keeps the digits and replaces everything else. Now, this is fine. But what if you also have extension numbers in this? For example, let's say I have this phone number and then I have something like ext123 and I want to put the extension number separately and then extract the main number and then format it. So let me show you how to do that. So here I have this data and you can see in some cases I have something like ext231 and in some cases I have x354 or extension 304. Now the first thing I want to do is extract all these extensions here and then the main number here and then I can format the main number. So let's first work on the extension part. I'm going to use this formula called text after where I am going to extract everything which is after the extension or anything that specifies an extension. Now, in this case, you need to know what could be these possible characters that would represent extension. For example, it is ext in this case, it is x in this case, or it is the entire word extension in this case. So I'm going to select this entire uh, range then I need to specify the delimiter based on which I want to extract it. Now in this case, because I have multiple, I would put them as a list in curly brackets. And within curly brackets, I can put something like ext in a double quotes, then I would have a semicolon, then I can have x in double quotes, and then I would have a semicolon, and then I could have extension. And if you have more, you can put all those scenarios here. But in this case, what it does, it is going to go into the cell, find this part and extract everything that is after it. So see what happens when I hit enter, it gives me not available in case it, it does not have these, uh, these uh, characters that I've mentioned. And if it does find the number, it gives me this value here. Now, in this case, you can see that sometimes there is an extra space here in the beginning because I have a space after ext. And sometimes there is no because there is no space after x here. So you can use the trim function on this and it is going to give you the data which is more consistent. And now I do not want these errors. So I can come here and I can use if error, then give me the value, else give me a blank. So this is how I've extracted the extension. Now I want to extract the main part, the main number. And I'm going to use the same thing here, but instead of text before, sorry, text after, I'm going to use text before. 
Let's see what happens when I hit enter. It gives me these numbers. Now in these cases, what has happened is because there was no extension here, uh, it is not going to give me any number and I do not want that. So let's remove this. And instead of this blank here, where we say that if there is an error, give me a blank, I would say if there is an error, just give me the value in the range. So now it gives me all these numbers and you can see this is without the extension, which is all fine, but I still need to extract the numbers. But now this is the same problem we just saw, which means that I can use this formula within the regex replace part. So I put it in regex replace and here, let me put this, make this in the formula bar. And here within regex replace, I just need to use the same thing, which is backward slash capital D and then replace it with blank. Now, when I hit enter, it only gives me the numbers. And now I can quickly format these numbers. But first I need to extract the last 10 digits. So again, I would use write and then extract the last 10 digit. It gives me the last 10 digit from this. Now I would use the text function to get this in the right format, which would be this. So I would have the format in double quotes where I had the parentheses, then three hash symbol in the parenthesis, then space, then three hash symbol, then hyphen, and then four hash symbol. And now when I hit enter, it gives me this result. So with this messy data that has text and has extension and everything, I am able to extract the main phone number as well as the extension. If you want to combine it, you can do that using a text join function. But this is how you can use the newer functions such as regex replace to quickly extract digits from uh, anything and then format it like a phone number. So these are the ways you can use if you have just a simple number, it is very easy. You can use custom number formatting. But if you have a slightly more complex example, then you can use these functions such as regex replace. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.